what is up and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jennifer Ross back at it again with yet another video today's video is gonna be a vlog I am on my way to a natural hair event here in Belgium uh, my friend Barry she already came this morning from the Netherlands and she is already here um, at the event and I'm just gonna meet up with her see what the event is like I'm really really excited to see uh, how it is because it's my first event actually so I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be like and I figured it would be nice to bring you guys along so give this video a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more vlogs and videos like this and yeah I'll talk to you guys in a little bit so I'm now at the bus stop waiting for the bus to come. It is 18 degrees today and it's humid and hot and nasty. Ugh, so annoying. And I'm just so hot because my hair is down. I don't know why that is. Let me know in the comments down below if you experience that problem as well. I just can never enjoy my hair being down because it's just hot. I just feel hot when I have it down and like not in a in a fun way, you know, like feeling hot. No, no, not like that. No pun intended. You know, just hot as in it's just that type of hot, exhaustingly hot. But I have scrunchies on hand. So if it gets too crazy, then I just can put it up in a bun or a ponytail or whatever. But yeah, now just waiting for the bus to come. Hopefully it won't take too too long because my friends have been at the event for about an hour already and I was late once again but I was just so tired this morning so I had to just take my time and do everything you know just I didn't want to show up like a slop kebab or looking very basic which I actually still did but you, you, you get the point okay I just wanted to take my time but hopefully the bus won't take too too long at the station where I had needed to hop off for the event and I'm now walking towards the event or the venue where the event takes place uh, and I already see gravities because I looked it up on the internet before I came on Google Maps just to make sure that I walk the correct way and I already see beautiful gravities everywhere so Look at it! Oh my god! that I'm here where are my friends Barry is coming to pick me up but so far it looks dead I'm honestly I'm I feel so bad it's honestly so bad there's nothing happening which is really sad because it looks like they really did try and there's nobody like not a lot of people are here right now so let's wait and see and there she is hey girl Hi. 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 
Ang tako mo? I'm good, you. Yeah? Yeah. Inventa po ko douches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. this is It's so sad because it looks like it could have been mm -hmm. popping, it but it's... It could have been great, but it's not. I don't know. The execution Maybe the prom kinda... prom promotion, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Uh -huh. business it's called curls kitty yo yo i'm not like a loyal follower yet but maybe after today it will happen um but yeah follow her on curls kitty yo yo and follow her as well on instagram that's sta, sta studio yeah i always <laughs> mess that up i'm so sorry but we're now playing a little game and then after that i think i'm just gonna pull out my uh, guide skills again and just show these ladies Antwerp because the event is unfortunately a little dead. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> so we were playing this game in which we had to like write down, somebody says A and somebody says stop. And then you had to fill in all these things. And one of them is the hair brand, the other one is a hair product, a hairstyle, a hair term, and you name it, you call it. And this girl right here, she wrote down FOMO LIFE as a hair shampoo. Since when do we naturals use Pomo Life for our hair? You are exactly You're cheating. No, no, no. I ain't having that. If, do you know what happens if I put that in my hair? That Pomo Life? Nothing. My hair will become a broom girl. Stop lying. Yes. Yes. Yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. it will get super clean, but it will get so dry. Mm -mm. I'm now gonna interview my new friend from Curl Criollo. Follow her on Instagram. But I'm quickly gonna do a little interview with her, let her promote her business because girls supporting girls. It's 2019. So now we're sitting here just met uh, Curl Criollo. En ik was dus benieuwd, wie is Krul Criollo? Nou, ten eerste, ik ben Monique Verlaat en uh, Krul Criollo is een organisatie dat vrouwen bij elkaar brengt, dat dus, uh, men meer over hun haren leert en wat het belangrijkste is dat we elkaar empoweren, elkaar supporten en ja, beter leren kennen en misschien heb je een business partner of een vriendschap verleden. Ja, dat was ontzettend tof. En wat doet Krul Criollo? Okay, op dit moment hebben we elke maand een, 
evenement. Dan kom, heb ik een thema, bijvoorbeeld uh, vorige keer was Fashion Go. Uh, de upcoming event is bijvoorbeeld uh, Handmade Jewelry maken. En vrouwen komen bij elkaar, ze volgen de workshop en daarna gaan ze weer lekker naar huis met uh, goodie bags en uh, wat wijzer natuurlijk, et cetera. Ja. Oké, okay. en hoe lang doe je dit al? Nou, ik, uh, sinds afgelopen zomer ben ik begonnen op Curaçao met een try-out, dus een jaar en officieel in Nederland aanstaande oktober. Oké. Okay. Ja. En wat vind je het leukste aan Kroll Criollo? Het leukste is dat ik uh, elke keer nieuwe vrouwen leer kennen. En uh, uh, wat ik ook leuk vind is uh, om te horen wat uh, zij be be mee bezig zijn, wat zij allemaal mee doen. En dat we echt samen als vrouwen uh, voor elkaar zijn. Ja, toch? En wat is je Insta of waar kunnen we je vinden? Ja, je kunt, jullie kunnen mij op Instagram vinden. Het is gewoon Krul. Slash creëren. Oké, en. Slash niet, underscore Ja. Nou, dankjewel voor dit leuke Graag interview. <laughs> and next is my friend Barry. I'm gonna interview her as well. Because she has a business of her own. So, here we go. Interview with Barry from SAS. So, my first question is: who are you? Um, my name is actually Rushanet. But uh, my family and friends call me Shani and most of the public knows me as well as Barry for my um, former YouTube personality days. Mm -hmm. So that's me. Okay. And what do you do? What is SAS Studio all about? Um, what I do is mostly photography at this moment and I have a business and it's called SAS Studio. But actually I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, I don't know exactly when this video is going to launch. But SAS is going to change. We are changing our name. The SAS remains, but it's going a to different change. So okay. for now, SAS Studio, but um, as the month go by, you will see a change in the name. Okay. And I have a photography studio and in The Hay. And I also do videography, and um, we will be also expanding our services. Oh. So big things up for SAS. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do like a, um, a birthday shoot or you're pregnant, engagement shoots, whatever you need that's visual, call me, I got you. Okay. So that's okay. SAS. Okay. And how long have you, have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing photography like since I was 16, mm -hmm. which is I think maybe 12 or 13 years, I think. I don't really know. My math is not that good, but. <laughs> And um, SAS Studio, um, I have it now like as a legit, legitimate business for two years. Two years, okay. And what do you think is the most fun thing that you have encountered with SAS? The most fun thing that I've encountered with SAS is um, connecting with other um, like-minded women that have businesses and that are business oriented. I think that truly has been one of the greatest gifts um, uh, while having my business. So it's connecting with other, other women that are creative and yeah, fun. Okay, and where do we find you? On social media? You can find me on Instagram mostly. Um, it's sass.studio. So sass.studio. That's S A S S. So it's not like S E or something. It's with an A, sass.studio. Um, and I have a website also, but it's going to change. So I'll just give Jennifer the info so she can put it below. But mostly on Instagram and also on Facebook. But Instagram is my main um, channel. Okay. Well, thank you so much. So I found another victim that I'm gonna interview as well because I think her business is a very cool concept. And since we are supporting girls, here is another person with a very interesting business. So tell us more about you. Who are you? My English is very bad. Yeah, I'm not Nederlands. Nederlands. Yeah. Uh, nou, ik ben Linda, 27 jaar. Uh, Eigenaresse van Love in Kemba JSM. Dat ik ben gestart in 2015. Uh, dit doe ik nu echt alleen samen met mijn man. We hebben echt letterlijk niemand in dienst. Oeh. En daarna zijn we ook nog fulltime in, uh, in loondienst. Oké. Okay. En uh, wat, waar, wat doet je business? Wat, uh... Uh, wij maken set in bonnet, set in pillowcases, uh, screen towels, super groot oil. En uh, ja, dat maken we echt helemaal zelf. En dat verkopen we online via ons eigen Oké. Okay. En wat vind je het allerleukste aan jouw business? Uh, dat ik mijn creativiteit kwijt kan. Ten alle tijden. Ja, oh, dat is ontzettend tof. En uh, wat is het leukste wat je tot nu toe hebt meegemaakt? 
uh, kijk, onze allereerste event waar we mee mochten doen, dat was de Color Goodies Experience. Mm -hmm. Dat was ook voor ons echt een, een hele leuke ervaring, omdat het ook voor het eerst was. En vanaf dat moment konden we echt zien van, oké, okay, hoe willen wij staan op uh, evenementen en waar is de vraag naar en kunnen wij onszelf verbeteren. Ja, tof. En waar kunnen we je vinden op uh, uh, social media? Social media is echt Love and Care by SM, echt aan één. En dat is ook de website, Facebook en Instagram, dus het is allemaal hetzelfde. Oké, okay, top. Nou, dankjewel. Graag gedaan. <laughs> Go follow this beauty on Instagram. Go buy her products. Hey, hey, I'm taking the ladies on a trip now because the event was just not what we expected. Um, but it was fun for whatever it was. And now we're just walking towards the station because we need to buy tickets uh, for the ladies to be able to use the public transportation. And yeah, so that's the quick little update. Walking in the rain. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> I was worried you blow my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your yeah. hands on my silver Keep pulling the trigger, alright This very thing for people like them Oh, no, no Update time We are now at Ella's special burger with the ladies We are picking what we want to eat As you can see, everybody is choosing What they want to eat Um, yeah, we're just gonna basically have something to eat now. Yes. Oh, people be hangry. So. <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> hey guys, food is here. Everybody has their food. Oh, look at that burger. <laughs> She got a delicious burger too. She got a delicious burger. And she, she got, got a burger. burger. Everybody got burgers. Burger. Everybody got burgers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Telling you that I need you. But you're off my radio now. So we are still at Ellis. We had like amazing conversations and it was really, really fun. But I think we're gonna wrap up this day for today. It's coming to an end. Yeah, it's coming to an end. So I guess we are gonna pay for our food and then, what's the plan? I think we're, go we're going back to the station where they need to take their transportation back to Holland and I'm gonna go home. So yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. Here we got it is time for an update. I am currently walking home under my umbrella because it is raining. Um, I did not vlog saying goodbye to the girls, but they already went to the station to take their bus back to the Netherlands. And I stayed on the bus that we took to the station uh, to come home. So I'm now walking home but today was really really fun despite the fact that the event was just not what I expected it to be but I think you know for the first time doing this it was okay okay so yeah that's that and now I'm just walking home um, to you know finish the rest of my day